In this lecture, we will look at how retargeting works. Retargeting uses a simple code, generally a JavaScript, from the retargeting vendor such as Facebook or Google. This code is also referred as Pixel. You take this code from the retargeting vendor and place it on your website. Every time a new visitor comes to your site, this code drops an anonymous browser cookie and sends the information about that user via that code to the retargeting provider. The retargeting provider then saves this information for you to create the audience you want to target. When these cookied visitors browse the web properties owned by the vendor, the retargeting vendor, or where they have ad serving capability, the cookie will let your retargeting provider know when to serve your ad ensuring that your ads are served only to the people that you intend to reach. So they are using a single cookie that gets dropped on a visitor's browser, a user's browser, when they visit your site. And then the same cookie is used to identify that user as they go across the web or on that vendor's owned property, such as Facebook or Google and the rules that you have set the vendor serves the ad to the people that you intend to reach. One thing about this code, it's a JavaScript code, so it can be deployed directly on your site or via a tag manager. I recommend using a tag manager such as Google Tag Manager to implement this code. In order to collect rich information about the user, you should place this code on every page of your site. The more information you have, the better your retargeting will be. You also have several options to customize this code so that you can send more information about these users and the actions they take on your website. You can then use this detailed information about the users to create rich set of audience that you can target. The possibilities to retarget based on this data are endless. And we will look at various examples as we go through this course.